Hello everybody, this is Charles and I'm back with another toy review. This time I'm very excited to bring to you the future EX Go King Gator Robot G Gator Dragon. Alright, so look at this Gator Dragon, okay? So this guy is really really heavy, okay? First of all, he packs like 70-80% Go King metal, so he's really really heavy toy. Which is really really awesome. So taking a look at this Gator right now, I actually assembled him, so you need to put on the mask. Uh, you need to put on the wings at the back and let me just take a side profile look at Gator Dragon and then we look at the back the wings alright so basically the wings uh, what you need to do is you need to slot them in okay over here uh, I'm just gonna go through one of them so basically you need to go very really, really close to the joint so here you see the joint over here it allows you to slot this down which is a very nice mechanism because it holds the wings really well and uh, if you're not putting in the wings, you can actually slot in these uh, red parts, okay, just to cover the uh, grey portion, which is very, very nice. Uh, but so for me, I am just going to feature the wings. So over here, just need to slot it, but just be very careful because it's made of plastic and we do not know how durable the joint is. So just go very, very close. And uh, let me just find the slotting point. And just slot it in, and there you have the wings. Right, it's really cool. So, um, let me just basically go through um, the feature the Gator Dragon has. Um, you can actually open the chest panels, all right? Open up this set of sides, and then you can put the uh, core. Okay, the core basically is the same for Gator One, Two, Three. It's the same core. It's gonna put it inside, and uh, all these three uh, characters, Tian, okay, which means sky, Tian Di, okay, Qi, which means earth or land, and Hai, which is Wumi, which is a uh, sea, all right. So these are for the gather. So these three parts are made of die cuts, which is really, really wonderful. So I'm not gonna put this in. Um, generally, okay, I know there's some QC issues, like mainly paint jobs. Uh, but for mine, my gather dragon is pretty much uh, very good. The only QC problem I have is probably in the ankle over here at the back. Uh, some minor paint chip. Uh, apart from that, it's okay, and um, I'm pretty fine. I think it's it's good. I mean, overall, I'm very happy with the quality this time round. So over here. I'm um, just gonna go through the head articulation first. You have neck movement, okay, and then you have the head motion. So uh, he can really do quite a bit of head movement. Um, over on the arm side, okay, you gotta be very careful when you move this portion, all right, the shoulder portion. Okay, it's two joints. So over on the top here, okay, this is on the ball joint to actually move the shoulder plates. But then there's also another joint that's uh, reverted over here that allows you move it move the shoulder joints up and down okay depending on what uh, pose you want to do so um, again the joint is made of plastic over here uh, I'm not sure how durable you can see over here it's quite thin okay not sure how durable this joint is so I would advise you when you to move it just hold it close to the joint and move it and you should be fine and uh, you need to actually move this up so that you can actually move the joint the shoulder joint more right 90 degrees over here uh, front back motion as well over here see front back and you can actually uh, lift it up as well. Can't really do a 360. Let's try. I think you can do a 360 with a uh, minimal uh, restriction. All right, over here. Uh, over here, this portion is supposed to uh, move. All right, not really smoothly, but okay. Uh, and Gator Dragon has a double jointed elbow. Okay, the lower portion is clicky joints. Okay, goes this much, and then the other portion just goes all the way. So you can really hold his hand up this much. Okay. Let's click it all back. Uh, front back motion wise, you can click the joints for the uh, waist uh, on top portion, top torso. You can actually move it down this much. Okay. Um, sideways. Okay, you can move it sideways as well. This much. You can rotate the uh, waist as well. Um, I'm not going to rotate it a lot. Okay. Uh, just, just to preserve the joint. Let me just wipe my sweaty palms. Sorry about that. Okay, you're just going to rotate it a little bit just to align it back. And okay, yeah, so I need back. Okay, and uh, moving down to the legs, you can move the uh, let me just move this up a little bit. You can move the legs back this much, you can move it front uh, this much. All right, sideways wise, you can stretch it out. So it's really interesting when you stretch the legs out, it felt like it's pulling out, and then you look at the joint beneath, it's really really interesting. It slides out, but there's you can see this joint over here, so it's really really cool. Really, really cool. You can rotate the thigh as well. The rotation portion is over here. All right. Uh, the knees have their own articulation. You have also have double jointed legs. Okay. Knees. Okay. Double jointed knees. Sorry. Over here. Move it here. Ninety degrees. And you can bend further, all the way back this much, which is really amazing. The amount of articulation he has. 
really amazing and you can move the knee joint the the kneecap rather so it's really really nice i'm gonna be very careful just to uh click him back okay just because this is a really collector's item and i'm trying to to do it gently so i won't have any paint chip or whatsoever uh the toes okay you can lift it up this much really really a lot uh you can rotate the ankles okay and you have side to side motion which is clicky joints as well okay so it's about uh, I think just to prevent the pain chip just maybe just move it one notch here you can move the other side two notches uh, but for this uh, for the la, this this direction the move inwards I think one notch is uh, is good okay over here it's a post getter dragon again all right and uh, of course the wings are very interesting you can actually uh, move this portion okay and you can move this portion so depending on how you want the wings to look it can look really really different so what i'm going to do right now is just spread the wings out okay uh, there's three wing panes okay okay really really nice so over here i'm spreading out the wings and voila this is the other dragon looking really awesome with his uh, wing spread out let me just put him to the back really really awesome with the wings spread out we'll adjust the camera a little bit to capture him holistically wow really really nice and depending on how you like the wings to look okay at the back you can actually shift it this way you know so it looks more like you know like a butterfly wing opening out so it's really cool uh, so the articulation for this is really wonderful it's really awesome really really awesome and he holds himself really really well and joints are really really good really solid so I you know I have to say kudos to future for making such a great toy and, and most of all the best thing is um, they didn't really delay much you know there was supposed to be a release for all three in uh, September October but I think they released Gator Dragon first um, followed by Liger in December and then uh, Poseidon in uh, February and there's no delay to this date so which I'm very happy with all right so um, one of the things I'm gonna feature all right for um, get a dragon I'm gonna feature this uh the the plane the gala machine gala machine dragon fully die cast really solid really really nice uh you can actually put the uh symbol character over here and uh, they should give you a uh, a sort of ring pin that let's say for example if you were to put a pin in and you want to get it out you can actually use a ring pin to actually round the energy dig out easy rather than having to use a screwdriver to dig it out and risk uh pain chip so which is a nice gesture from future and i really like this plane it's really nice really solid and the color metallic blue here is really really awesome same as the metallic blue on the uh, chest of gator dragon really really awesome it comes with uh weapons uh gator tomahawk okay which is this one uh you have a a you have two okay you have two different of fists one is the open fist that looks something like this which i didn't take out and one is uh this one that allows you to put a weapon so what you how what you need to do to get a weapon out is actually first to uh rotate this portion out again i said you got to be careful and hold it towards the joint because this is made of plastic and if you're just being too forceful you might just break it accidentally so really be really very gentle and careful with this piece uh similarly you just have to slot this portion in okay i'm just going to be very careful to uh, push it into the the first so once you get the handle out again just gently uh notch the inside all right and over here uh, remove the fist. Fist comes up very easily and has a movement of its own. Really cool. And what you gotta do just to uh, pop in over here, and there you have Gator Dragon holding the Gator Tomahawk. It's really, really cool. So, this is a really awesome figure, and I really, really love it. It's really worth the wait. And um, the colors, everything is really vibrant, really bright. It's really awesome. You know, I just totally captivated by this piece and i really love him and i know it's really worth the wait i had to wait for so long to bring this review to you guys but i tell you this guy uh, guys this is really really worth the wait and i'm enjoying every single moment of owning this piece this is really really awesome let me just adjust the uh, shoulder pads a little bit so it's really really nice i really highly recommend this piece uh to get it if you can um <coughs> it costs about i think four hundred plus of 450 us ship right now so uh, close to that um it's really awesome piece if you really get it and uh really cool so i'm gonna do another two reviews for uh get up poseidon and get a liger so here's charles signing off with yet another toy review i hope you guys have enjoyed it do stay tuned to my channel for more reviews next time